Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, you need three ingredients at night for the temperature to fall off rapidly. Clear skies, light wind, and very dry air. We have all three. It's the reason why the temperatures have been tumbling. Some areas already down into the single digits. Head outside to Providence, crystal clear skies, that dry air. So the only upside with the frigid temperatures we have tonight, we don't have any wind to go along with it. Had that occurred, well, of course, the wind chills would have been a big factor. So the air is still 8 degrees. That's it in Taunton, uh, 18 in Providence, 14 Smithfield. I know um, Norton and the Attleboro's were in the single digits as well, around 9 degrees above zero. In fact, there you go, 9 in Attleboro, 9 in Taunton, Cranston only 15, Chapachet at 13, Glendale at 12. So these numbers continue to tumble, but the dry streak continues. As far as rain and snow, we don't see it through at least Friday night and probably Saturday morning. Next chance for precipitation. Watching the weekend, we don't think this is a big storm, but late Saturday into Sunday, the chance for rain and snow. We're actually leaning more towards rain rather than snow, but stay tuned over the weekend. There may not be enough cold air to support an all snow situation as cold as it is right now. Temperatures moderating a little bit tomorrow afternoon, but more so come Thursday and Friday. Both of those days should have afternoon temperatures that are well into the 40s. Just a few thin clouds streaming through every now and then, but just cold and quiet, tranquil across uh, really the eastern half of the country, courtesy of high pressure fair weather system. This moisture across the central and southern plains headed our way, but not until the weekend by later Saturday. In the meantime, very cold overnight. Clear skies. Watch the time bar. We'll take you through to tomorrow morning at around 5 a.m. I just think these numbers are a little too high. Now, this is a computer output. This is going to be more like probably 10 to 15 degrees around sunrise and some spots even colder than that. But look at the nice recovery with sunshine during the afternoon, getting above freezing 36. The average high for this time of year is 37, so we're close to average. Clear, chilly tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. No issues with the evening commute. Dry roads, good visibility. And around this time tomorrow night, continued clear and temps in the mid-20s. So here's our breaks down tomorrow morning. 6 a.m., 12, some spots colder than that. Very cold at 8 a.m., 19 with sunshine by 10 o'clock in the morning. We're at 29 and a little better tomorrow afternoon. It was only the upper 20s this afternoon. We're forecasting mid to upper 30s tomorrow afternoon. So sunshine with a light breeze overall. Not bad for mid to late January. Milder both Thursday and Friday. Here's that precipitation for Saturday, late day, Saturday night into Sunday. Mostly rain, but there may be a little wet snow mixed in on Sunday. So stay tuned. Temperatures not overly cold over the weekend, but cool. High temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s. Run the car engine. The few extra minutes warm it up tomorrow morning a very cold start but a better recovery tomorrow afternoon all right thank you tony well